Welcome to EdTech Hustle. My name is Rich and today I'm going to show you how you can generate any graphic using Canva. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is a brand new feature that was released last week by Canva, and that's the ability to create any graphic. So here's an example of a presentation that I'm creating. It's something about music, and what I would like to do is to have maybe a dinosaur playing the guitar or, or something like that. I couldn't think of a better idea. So normally in Canva, there are a lot of different assets that you can search for. So if I search for dinosaur, it's going to give me lots of different graphics of a dinosaur, but it's probably not going to be able to generate one of a dinosaur playing the guitar. I didn't think so. Well, kind of did, but let's generate another one. So what you can do in Canva is use the app that's called Magic Media. So I'm going to select apps and I'm going to do a search for Magic Media and this is the app that we'll need. Now, if you look at some of the other videos that I'm putting in the corner of the screen, I have walkthroughs on how to use Magic Media to generate images and Magic Media to generate videos. But what I haven't done is this option because it's brand new and that's the ability to use Magic Media to generate graphics. So all we have to do is to enter our prompt right over here. Now, if I want, I can also choose from a number of different visual styles on here. Let me just choose vintage. And I am going to enter the words that I want to describe. Okay, I have a fierce T-Rex playing the electric guitar. Let me go ahead and generate that in just a few minutes. Canva will give me four different suggestions of graphics to use for this presentation. Boom, so a few different examples. Now I kind of like this one a lot better than the one that was inside of the elements. I've got my T-Rex right over here kind of sitting at the top. Now, of course, I could always go back, regenerate this again, but this time maybe pick a little bit of a different format. This time I'll just try sticker and now I'm going to generate this again. Okay, so now I have four other options right over here. Maybe I think something like this works a little bit better. So I'm just going to take this dinosaur, put this in, I'll even change this. We will flip it horizontally. Maybe I can move this to the bottom and do that sort of thing. So it's a really helpful feature in Canva. If you go to Magic Media, you can create your own graphics. It's great if you're someone who can never find the graphic that you're looking for for your presentation. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like these kind of videos, please feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you.